members, Renee Hartman, to please come forward for a special tribute she will be making this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to say, 
other than thank you so very much, each and every one of you who've done so much for our students, so much for our state, so much for the United States of America. The students have been wonderful because they're well provided for with excellent teachers. We have an excellent president. We have just wonderful people. And those of you who have been so kind to favor us with your pocketbooks, <laughs> the inside of them, of course. <laughs> I am humbly grateful to you for your presence, for our wonderful group of teachers, our president. Everyone is just so gracious and willing and are contributing to the success of this institution. I'm only grateful for your gift to me of recognition. It's been a privilege and a pleasure. And I know that my husband is looking down from glory, saying, that's wonderful. I knew they would do it. Hearts 
and enhanced our spirits of giving. There is no doubt that this night is a blessing, and that those that have given have blessed many people they will never know or see, the individuals that will benefit from our becoming health professionals. The action of paying it forward is effective and contagious this evening. I am honored that I have been selected to speak tonight, as this gives me the chance to not only express my appreciation, but to share my story as well. But in order to share my story, however, it is important to tell you where I come from. And this story does not begin with me. My story begins with my grandmother, the youngest of five children. When I was growing up, I remember seeing hanging in the hall of my grandmother's house her college diploma from Alabama State University, College for Negroes. Growing up in the segregated South, where professional opportunities were very minimal for African Americans, my grandmother made a conscious decision to educate herself. Even though she was young, she realized that the value of education was priceless and intangible. It was with this mentality that she completed her college education against insurmountable odds. After graduating, she returned to her, home, her hometown of Anniston, Alabama to teach elementary school and gave back to the community from where she had come from. It was there where she met my grandfather, the late Clarence Williams, who graduated from the Tuskegee Institute. Granddaddy, as we called him, earned a master's degree in education and pushed education as a way of improving his family and the world. It was him who moved the family to California for a better life. It was him who saw that his education and his credentials, with, with those education and credentials, a better way had to await him and his family in the West instead of the segregated South. Today, this family, because of this union and the value of education, all five of their children hold degrees ranging from MD to MA. Among them is my mother, Eugenia Vincent, who I'm so happy that could be here tonight. And my father, Dr. William Vincent, who I'm so happy is here as well. Each and every one of you, 
on behalf of us students and want you to know that your contributions will not be in vain. Know that each life that we touch is in part because of you, through your giving and support in any and every way. I thank you, Mrs. Lanton, and your husband, the late Mr. Lanton. And I thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. Thank you and God bless you for giving and giving us the opportunity to pay it forward and bless others. Thank you.